Oh, welcome. Now. Um. <laughs> okay. Remember the retail code, right? The customer <laughs> is always right. So, retail is like the starter class of the MMORPG we call life. And if there was a tier list for jobs, retail would be pretty close to the bottom. Maybe above janitors, but probably below it. Because honestly, janitors make way more money than people in retail or fast food. And really, I can't even be upset. After working retail and being face to face with people, I would much rather clean up after the person who's left than be there when they make the mess. Because when you're there when they make the mess, it's your fault. Because the customer is always right. If life really is like a JRPG, retail warriors and cashiers are like the knights that sit on the front lines, while janitors are like the rear guard. Guess which one dies first? Oh, janitor senpai. Why can't I be more like you? But even though I say that, I honestly think people should work retail at some point. There really is some good to it, I promise. You get to learn common sense, you get to interact with people in a wide variety, you get to know your local neighborhood... ...intimately. Hey! Hey! Hey, you! You work at that place across the street, bro? Hey! You over here throwing me down with this BS, okay? I'm about to come into work to see you. Wait, actually, who's your manager? Oh, who's your manager? I'm about to actually make you lose your job. I'm getting tired of this. Alright, this is the third time... Now, a boy into the context, I work in a special retail field. I work in a car parts store where we, the cashiers, go and fetch what the customer is specifically looking for. There are very few things on the sales floor they can pick out themselves. But since it's retail all the same, me and my friends have a few fun stories about every customer ever. So I hope you enjoy this uh, rant sketch video. So he, he tries to walk up to me and he's like, hey, like, what the heck are you doing here? Like, you were supposed to come with me to the restaurant, so then we can go ahead and Yo, uh, aren't you supposed to be at Parts Place today? I am. In fact, I'm in line right now, actually. Anyone in line checking out? Like, just want to pay and leave? Hold on a minute. What about me? I thought you were helping me with my order. Well, are you done with your phone call? Yes. It's a 2018 Hava Civic. Okay, cool. Uh, do you know the engine size? Do you know if it's a V4 or a V6 or something like that? Um, let me call him back. So, he wants to know what the engine size is. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
Oh no, he didn't! Well, tell him that I said that he is the most stupidest person on the earth, and he should have known that that Reddit account was fake. I mean, it waxed so many stupid things and like, uh, a poetry or whatever. <sighs> he should have known better. Well, tell him Okay, welcome to your first day on the job. Uh, do you know anything about cars? Nope, not really. Oh, oh, okay. Um, well, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, everything's around the box. You know, it's it's really simple. Just follow the part numbers, and I think you should be able to get it. Ah, actually, perfect timing. Here, help this first customer right here. So let's see how you do. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, welcome yeah, to- Yeah, so I need a 12-inch black donger muffler strap with a push-to-start relay oscillator function in a five centimeter diameter. Yeah, it's for a 2012 Nissan Pathfinder, all-wheel drive, 3.2 uh, engine diesel um, mainframe. Can you- And can you make sure that it's the downstream one and not the upstream one? In fact, can I just see it the part before I buy it? Mm. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you. Uh, excuse me, sir? I was here earlier and one of your employees sold me a defective product. Uh, who did? Do you have a name? Can I get them to deal with this issue? What? No, it was someone from a different store. I want a refund and a discount on this new part. Is, is your manager here? No. Ugh. Well, how are you going to compensate me for this? I got this installed twice and now I'm pissed because clearly this is a bad part or you're not doing your job right. So how am I going to get compensated for your bullshit? Huh? I don't even know who you are. Well, it wasn't at this store, obviously, but you still work at this company, so that means you have to help me. You're right. But if you want that discount, you're gonna have to be able to store that sold it to you. We don't have any responsibility at all for that here. Why not? You're all the same, isn't this car hub? Where is your customer service? Have a nice day. Thank you for shopping at Parts Place. No, ma'am. I'm sorry to inform you, but Car Hub is a completely different store directly across the street. You're in the wrong store. I'm still calling corporate for your, for your nasty attitude. No, we do not install these. We're not mechanics. Huh? Fun small backed about retail? In no store, unless you are security, are you allowed to stop someone who is stealing. Even if you see them walking out the door, the only thing you can do is call out to them. You can do nothing else, because if you touch them in any way, you're fired. So. Anyway, like I was saying, you're going to have to find someone to install this. Alright, so monologue time. Ever since the year started, you know the one. In addition to shirts and shoes, you also need to have a mask on. Some stores really don't care. Some stores care a whole lot. My store's a bit half and half. I'm really one of the only people to actively enforce it by calling people out. Alright, uh, here's your item. Can you please sign that? Oh, sir. I excuse me, can you uh, put your mask on while you're in here? Oh, uh, sorry sir, I left it in my car. Give me a second. Now when we say this, some people don't mind. They'll either leave or they'll go put one on. Or if they act nicely, we hand one of our spares to them. But some people... I excuse me, can you uh, put your mask on while you're in here? What? Why? I'm not sick. Why, why do I need one? Yeah, but you still need to be wearing... Okay, yeah, and why exactly can't I be in here? What, what, because the government said that you can't... See, I'm, to I'm so tired of hearing about the CDC this and wear a mask that. Well, I'm not CDCing any bodies on the street. I mean, this whole... This whole COVID thing is probably just a hoax anyway. You, you hear about the government and all that types of stuff. I mean, 200,000 cases. I mean, do you see 200,000 people walking around with COVID? Because I don't. Security. Yeah. And sometimes people want to be a little too persistent with ignoring our rules. 
<laughs> I can't read. We don't like those people. So, stereotypes aside, I've noticed something interesting about customers who come into retail or fast food stores. Two things specifically. For some reason, if there's a screen that a retail worker is working on, and it's even slightly angled, people will bend over backwards to look at it. I'm not sure why that is though. And since 2020 started, this has really only gotten worse. Most people have put up a barrier, usually glass or plastic, and humans have this really, really weird habit of ignoring them, almost subconsciously, standing to the side, moving under it, and some people, screw these people, even move and stick their head around it. Like, why do people do this? Look at this! Why? And something else I noticed is that on first glance, the reading comprehension level of the average shopper is really low. Some shoppers stare right at the carving machine telling them to press a specific button, and they'll still ask what they should press. Wait, like, what does it say? Like, what? What do I push? Push the green button to accept the change. Oh, okay. Um, hold on. Though, like, what do, what does it do? Push the green button to accept the charge. Do I hit the green for credit? Yes. Right there, right on the screen. And some people don't even read the screen at all. They just push the button without even reading it. Or maybe they just listen to me directly if I tell them to push something. But you know my favorite kind of people? People who don't listen and put their card in too early. All right, so the cost is gonna be 2433. Before you put your card in, can you hit? Um, too early. Take your card out. Huh. Well, I guess I'm sorry. Now, can you please? Of how ugly you are. What the fuck was that? Whoa, wait, hold on. I think I put it in wrong. Let me try again. Stop before you break our machine. You have to push the button first. This one, this one right here? Yes, that one. Anyway guys, thank you for listening to this video. It was kind of a rant, kind of a sketch-based thing. I'm not sure what it was. Next video should be completely different and hopefully done much faster. Either way, sub, bell, comment, please comment, I love those. and. Keep trying your best, okay? Bye. Like, I'm gonna need you to stop trying, alright? You probably smell like dusty Cheetos. You smell like you haven't drank water in about three weeks, alright? You probably should go take a shower and I should get some nice clothes and maybe she'll give you her real number. But you need to stop calling me on this BS. I mean, I'm trying to sleep. I don't know if you're getting called by somebody at 3 a.m. talking about hello. No. What?